What is up guys, Austin Nurcho here back again doing some more Marvel Legends. This time we have the Captain Marvel set, so it's been a while since this has been out and we have not got it received yet, so we uh, eventually just went out and eventually just bought it when they did the sales on a bunch of the websites. We only got this whole set for like $100, so it was a really good deal and everything, so we didn't want to pass up on it. So we finally got it. So in this set we have the Build-A-Figure of the Kree Century, so we'll see parts of that as we go through. But in this set we have the Captain Marvel here, here in her full like uniform and everything there with of course the and everything there for Captain Marvel. Then we've got Nick Fury over here and Talos the scroll there. Then we've got Captain Marvel with Goose and everything, which Goose was also with Nick Fury, if I gotta say. Then we got Yon Rog there. And then the last two of Grey Gargoyle and Janice Vell as the last two characters, more comic based and everything. And as you can see up here, we have the head for the Kree Sentry and stuff. So it's just a big giant purple and gray robot and everything that we're building up here and everything. So that's all the different figures. So we're gonna go ahead and open it, look at each figure and everything build the crease center at the end and take a look at that so let's get into it so the first character here for the captain marvel set is captain marvel herself in her full armor suit and everything so here we've got her in her star force armor but of course when she's in star force it's more of the green and black color as we'll see later with yon rog but this time she you know redesigns into colors of the captain marvel like comic book design that we see here with the red blue and gold and everything so this looks pretty cool i really like this figure a lot and i really like the look of this like mostly because the helmet and stuff i think that's what brings the whole um design and outfit together and stuff in this form and everything it looks very nice and cool so i like again it's based more off the comic book design that they took and made into the movies and stuff because i feel people would somewhat be disappointed if they didn't hear with the armor and stuff so here of course we've got her head with the helmet on here again the mostly red but you can see the blue uh, metallic blue designs going on here so speaking of that the metallic it is so it's a metallic red metallic blue and metallic gold pretty much all over her so it makes the suit very shiny and stuff as you can see in the light and everything so that's pretty cool there and so you can see the white eyes and then her mouth there and everything was the kind of a little smirk and everything and then you can see her hair flowing in through the top here as the mohawk and we've got her arm here again with the blue mostly and then it's got the red and gold details onto and stuff so like the chest the star f um, there of course for the star force logo there then the red chest plate all over the top there red gauntlets and red boots and then um, the gold designs and details again with the star going up into the chest and everything designs on the belts down the legs and onto the boots and everything then of course the blue everywhere else again looks very nice and everything so she got the armor padding there on her shoulders and everything there again the gauntlets that we mentioned a belt here on her side and then the armored boots there as well for movements of course we have the head that can twist all the way around and nod and everything so pretty good movements there shoulder we have some limitations because of the pad but as you can see as you lift it up it does it's uh, kind of attached at the bottom so loose at the top here so as you move it up it kind of moves with it so that's pretty cool and it can rotate all the way around it's got the single elbow joint which is kind of all twisted around and change up you could you know do different variations stuff i'm trying to figure out how exactly it goes but not exactly sure with that or anything then we've got the wrist that can twist around and flex and everything of course there we got the um twist right under the chest here and everything as you can see it kind of has you know again very little crunch there um there it goes it's actually loosened up some so there we got the ab crunch and then it twist there as well because no waist twist on these figures on the females at least then we got the legs come out look like 90 degrees there back barely at all and then out to the side and everything it's got the thigh twist there double knee which i really like the knee design on this how it got has like this uh diamond shape or i don't know what you call it but it's got the points on the top and bottom there so i like how they cut the armor out and to make that and everything so you can see you know the points there at the top and bottom so i really like that and everything and then you can see the bend of the leg there pretty far up that and then of course the foot can bend and flex and everything all sorts of fun stuff there for accessories we do have some hands of course always got to have extra hands and then she also comes with an unmasked head there with brie larson's face i of course looked up some information on the figure so for captain marvel her real name is carol danvers she's a half human half kree a hybrid i guess you could say she's mostly human she is a member of the u.s air force and of course a member of star force along with her outfit there she got all her powers from the tesseract so with her powers she's got superhuman strength speed agility reflexes and then she She's also um, can fly and everything, of course, and she has precognition, so she can you know kind of see stuff before it happens. Regeneration, and then she can do energy manipulation with her photonic blasts, which usually, which I'm disappointed they didn't have the things that come out of her hands and stuff. Her whole blast things. Fortunately, they didn't come with any designs or details and stuff for that, which I thought would be kind of cool to put on her wrist and everything, but they didn't come with that, so unfortunately we don't get that part of it, but that's pretty much it for the Captain Marvel. Next up, we've got Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. here, and so it's pretty cool. So we've got young 
Nick Fury here, or young Sam Jackson, at least that's what they made him look like and everything, so you can see the face there looks very much like Sam Jackson, so it's very cool that they got it to look like that. The face isn't perfect, and as you can see, some of the paint, they got some of his skin up on his hair there and stuff, so not, again, not a perfect paint job, as usually, not with Marvel Images, but pretty much besides the face and stuff, it's just a guy in a suit, so we don't really got much to look at and everything. He's just a guy in a, you know, just a business suit and stuff, so this would be a good figure um, to, like, you know, have multiple and to get suited characters but of course he does have the neck painted in here so it'd have to be black character and stuff to have the neck match and everything but you could switch out the hands and head um so they you could do that if there were multiple characters but unfortunately it's the marvel universe stuff and there's not many characters like that so as you can see he's in a black suit jacket here so he's got the jacket the pants and um, shoes on which are very shiny and stuff i don't know if you can see those very well but they're very shiny and underneath he's got a white button-up shirt with a gray tie dark gray tie and you can see he has has the shoulder holsters underneath here so it's pretty cool here overall again not too much uh figure wise to look at so the movements of course so his head can twist all the way around all sorts of stuff there shoulders can move up but he's kind of stiff and everything so it can move up quite a bit and again we got the suit jacket that separates so you could technically take it off and um, we do have the bicep twist the double elbow joints there so we can get you know pretty good bends around and everything the wrist oops obviously can twist around and flex and everything in the jacket as much as need to he has the ab crunch there under the tie as you can see the twist at the waist legs that come out less than 90 degrees there then he's got the thigh twist the double knee joint if it'll bend around there not fully up as far as like Captain Marvel was and everything but still pretty good distance there and then of course the foot that can flex and twist side to side for accessories he of course comes with a gun so Nick Fury's always got to have a gun and then he also comes with goose here so we've got the cat which is we find out in the movie stuff is a flurkin so that's why it's all trapped up and everything's got the mouth the, uh, covering on its mouth and all tied up and stuff but it's got a little hand grip here so I'm going to see if I can get it put into his hand unfortunately I could not get it in its hand his hand is just too loose if it does belong in this hand um, I don't feel like design wise it would fit in that one. I mean, maybe it does. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I got the gun in there, so I'm not going to try it. But yeah, you can, um, has a grip, so it looks like it's got a, you know, a spot in here that like the thumb or fingers, maybe it is meant for that hand. I don't know. Um, let me try it. So yeah, I guess it is meant for, it's still not held in there very well, but it does at least hold it and everything. So yeah, it's perfectly made for the thumb and finger and everything. So unfortunately, um, unless you can still get the gun, which, you know, then he'd be left-handed, which I don't think he is, but you can then, you know, with, get the gun in that hand. And the other thing he comes with is the first part of the Kree Sentry that we got here. So we've just got the big giant robotic arm there. And then for information on Nick Fury, there's not a, you know, a whole lot that really needs to go into and stuff. If you've seen the movie, you know about him. But of course, he's just a shield agent and stuff and at this point he's not as um high up or whatever as he will be later on in the other movies that we've seen and stuff but it's pretty cool that we got him here and it comes with goose and everything so that's pretty cool there for nick fury next up here we've got talos one of the scrolls or the scroll leader in the movie and everything which was played by ben mendelson's but we don't really get to see that look in his face like in the movie and stuff you can see it but they are green creatures and so you can see they have like their i wouldn't say wrinkles but it's just their skin design there as you can see with all the lines through and stuff i do like the detail of what would be like like hair and everything it's just like a purple like tattoo design or something on the top of his head so i really like that detail and everything he's got the big giant pointed ears and stuff kind of like an elf and again the all green skin there coming into the mouth where it's got some purple design and some i don't know if that's supposed to be like hair and stuff to match you know the rest of that or just the face design there with that but that's pretty cool you can see the creepy looking eyes and everything there um he's got of course all green skin so he's got green hands as well there too then he's in his outfit here which um i like the design overall like the it's black and purple and I like the whole like cuts into it and stuff and then like the wave designs as you can see in there and stuff but it uh kind of has some limitations and you can see the jacket like comes all the way down to below his legs and stuff and then he's got some just pants on there a purple stripe there and then just normal boots and everything um but for like movements and stuff so of course the head can move around but it's got the color there so add some limitation to it the shoulders obviously move up but of course this jacket's kind of in the way but we can do it the other side um move a little bit more but it has the logo there on that shoulder so can't move a whole lot there it's got the bicep double elbow pretty much all the same stuff but move, limitations and movements though like it can crunch there or it's kind of bent over more but it doesn't really crunch but you can like pop the jacket off if he doesn't have it on you can see some of the detail in there just all black with some um like striping design onto it but you can just pop this on and off which now it's probably not going to want to go 
back on and stuff with this material and everything so it's kind of cool that it has that of course the same leg moon stuff should be exact same all as nick fury and everything so nothing too special going on he's got two open hands and that's all that he's got he doesn't come with any extra accessories of um, hands or anything um, pretty good movements and everything so everything there is pretty much just simple um, for Talos here the only thing the other thing he comes with is the foot for the sentry um, so we've got that there and for some information is um, just that they are shape shifters and stuff although I've read like from in the comics and stuff Talos is known to be have a defect where he can't shape shift so that kind of makes him different but it gets him at extra um, other power stuff but in the movie store we see him transform and stuff and he you know looks like Ben Mendelsohn and everything so unfortunately they didn't keep that part but he is the leader of these scrolls in the movies and everything are trying to escape refuge and stuff with the help from Marvel that now Captain Marvel's kind of taken over with the power of the Tesseract and stuff to be able to escape the Krees and everything so that's what the scroll story is there and that's it for Talos. Next up here is our second Captain Marvel and this one's definitely not going to look at too much and I went ahead and left so she's got goose this time again the goose in an actual like cat form not all uh, tied up or whatever and everything and I went ahead and just left in her hands with the bands on and stuff to help hold it in there just because that's looks you know pretty much what it's meant for and we don't really need Captain Marvel in any other form and stuff so just keep her holding goose because we don't need to look at it too much so the only difference is obviously she's un unmasked here so you can see her face there and everything the brie larson design there with the hair and all that stuff sort of flowing then he she's got her air force jacket on so she's got um the logo there on the back which of course i can't read it's too blurry and everything but she's got her jacket from the air force that otherwise she's just in her regular captain marvel outfit underneath the jacket so what we saw already so we don't need to look at too much stuff there for any of this so nothing too special there but we do have goose who as i mentioned before is a Flurkin, and in the movie we see, you know, with the, how it opens its mouth and all the tentacles come out and stuff, it uh, eats the Tesseract, and then it ends up taking out Nick Fury's eyes, so this one would kind of be a little bit better, so it could reach up and take his eye out in Nick Fury's hands. Um, I like the way they painted the cat's eyes, I don't know if it'll focus in, um, I don't know if you can really see it, but at least like holding it and stuff, like straight on, the eyes glow, so it's kind of like a real cat's eyes, like when the lights shine on and stuff, their eyes are like glowing, that's what it looks like, like when I hold it directly in front of me, so it's cool that they got that design in there too for and everything for that so that's cool that we got captain marvel here holding goose and everything that looks like goose is like playing with something and, and the only other accessory she comes with is the hand for the crease entry there as well and that's it for this version of captain marvel our next figure here is of yon rog which was played by jude law in the movie but again we don't have a head or anything to really show that or anything but this looks really cool i really like this figure it's probably one of my favorites um out of the set so far um unfortunately though with the way the head design or helmet design stuff up here looks it looks kind of funny but it looks pretty cool overall so he is the leader of the star force group and so this is the exact colors that the star force should be very similar to his outfit design stuff to captain marvel's obviously that's what she's got just and the repainted design um that we saw earlier up here on the head we got the helmet design here again with this metallic or green color black and silver and again continues all the way down through his body mostly black here and everything it has the star logo there and then again um continues on with the green designs and stuff with silver details going through it as well on his arms here we've got some like all the things out yeah i don't think they pop off they maybe could i don't really know for sure but they're part of his uh weapons here his uh magnet magnetron gauntlets i think are what they're called movements um should pretty yeah pretty much be the same as all the others of course the arms can go up and rotate around and everything there trying to see if there's anything that stands out movement wise he does have a belt on here with some additional like pocket details and everything got like a backpack on here probably for like some sort of breathing and everything and then the armor there on the knee and the boots there as well which the boot look really big and everything on him they i like the look overall but they look just ginormous on him for some reason but it looks pretty cool overall and stuff same movements though for accessories he does come with a gun here which is a kree pistol so the pistol that he uses quite a bit in the movie in his hand like that and then we also come with the biggest main body part of the kree sentry there for that and so for some of the information i have on yon rong um so again he's the star force commander and he was sent to earth to kill marvell which ended up giving the powers of the tesseract to carol danvers as we see in the movie and everything and with his powers as a Kree and everything he's a got superhuman strength agility healing factors so very similar to all that Captain Marvel has he's got his magnetron gauntlets here as you can see there and then he also has the Kree pistol there. so unfortunately there's not a whole lot to look at but I think this figure overall looks really cool I like the paint job and everything the way the um, outfits designed helmets just like I said a little too big up top to make him look like he's got a giant head and everything but I still think overall it looks very cool I like the whole color scheme and everything looks very nice so that's gonna be it for 
or Yon-Rog. Now we're getting into the comic book characters. So these characters we don't see in the Captain Marvel movie or anything. Just strictly from the comic book series and stuff. And so this is Dr. Paul Duvall as Grey Gargoyle. Which is our character here. And he is a chemist. So that's what makes him a doctor and stuff. And so as you can see he just has an all grey design. Of course with some feet and uh, hands there and stuff. That are, doesn't have different colors and stuff. But everything else is just an all grey. With a very cool looking detail put into and stuff. To make it look like stone or concrete and everything. So very cool looking overall. I like that. And so part of his whole story thing is that he came up with this serum and stuff that he came in contact with which turned his body into stone and then he kind of has the power that he can uh, transform from human to stone and everything and stuff he touches with I think it says his right hand if he touches stuff with it it'll turn to stone as well so it looks pretty cool overall kind of not like super excited but I like the especially the like skin details and everything it looks very cool and the whole design with the flex and everything again like I said it looks like stone but here's a look at his face so he does have a flat top haircut he does have a mask on um, but I like the whole mask around his eyes and stuff with the dark gray then he also has a little mustache there on his face and then you can see his teeth and stuff which look metallic his eyes and his teeth do look metallic um, I don't know if you can notice that from through the camera or anything but in the real life you can see and stuff um this so i like that he has this cape on the back of course that's held on by these straps and stuff so he's got the cape with the whole collar up here and stuff and then he's just all gray and stone he has some underwear on that are also stone colored and then like i said he's got these uh gloves and uh boots i guess you'd call them <laughs> what else you'd call them here with this blue design with the black stripes and everything so he's got some claws as you can see with his hand there he's got some points and stuff so he's got claws and of course his toes have some claws there as well so very mean and evil menacing looking and everything movement should be the same as all the other male characters so we won't really look at that or anything but I very I just like the detail on this character with the whole um, texture and stuff it's made well it's not really textured but like the paint design or I guess it's just a mold because it's not really painted or anything the flex maybe but it just looks like the way he's molded and stuff it looks very cool i like that detailed design it's cool that they were able to come up with that and the only other accessory he comes with is the head for the kree century that we got there and that's pretty much it for gray gargoyle the last character from this set is Janice bell which is again another comic book character so this guy is rick jones which has the connection to captain america and everything and he comes across these bands here on his um the nega bands as they call it in ega bands um and so he puts them on and he ends up like clanking them together so he ends up taking his hand smashing them together and he gets the powers of captain marvel so the original captain marvel and so it's pretty much what he turns into and so that's he looks like this so um you that's pretty cool stuff so he has all the powers of pretty much Cap, captain marvel and everything and then you know he just does it again and he turns back into a normal human so it's kind of cool and everything about that so i like the of course again another design here with paint design he is like a translucent color so you can see kind of around here up his neck and stuff you can see through it a little bit through his weight uh chest here and everything so all where this black is it's kind of like a translucent so it's like clear pretty much is what you can see through and stuff then it has all the like gold, uh, glitter flex and stuff in it to make it look like a, a stars or space and everything is what he's made of and then of course has the green armor on it for details and everything so you can see the helmet here with like the spartan style helmet here that's all green he's got green shoulder pads this green band around his chest he's got the green circle on his chest there um, some designs here around on his waist the green gauntlets and stuff with the nega bands there um, green down his legs with a holster here for his gun all the way down to green boots again these are also look kind of translucent as well or it's just the metallic green color not 100% sure there but I like the design and stuff so I really like the um, black color with like the space looking details into it with the green on top it looks very nice and cool I really like this figure so movements obviously going to be the same as all the others obviously some limited shoulder movements so he has the same kind of design as Captain Marvel with the shoulders but obviously his shoulders can't go up too far and <laughs> rotate around because of these um paddings or armor here on um, so unfortunately he can't move around a whole lot in there but everything else is exactly the same as all the other male figures so nothing else detailed going in there and everything for accessories he comes with a gold pistol here so pistol i think it's supposed to be you know like a another kree pistol but like a, the comic book versions there so he's got the pistol and of course it can go into the holster there on his leg and the last accessory is our piece for the um kree sentries to the last piece we need for that and for some of his powers and can teleportation energy blast energy manipulation and he traveled through space and time so, so a very powerful person here and like i said with the powers of captain marvel or marvel and stuff that kind of unlocks his powers and everything for that so very cool overall and i like this whole figure design in general so that's it for Janice bell so that brings us to building the kree sentry so we'll get this put together and we'll take a look at it so here is the kree sentry all put together and so very 
basic robot like nothing too special going on here but it is a robot and protector of the Kree empire and everything so that's kind of um what they're used for and everything here um so for some of the information though um so they're big giant robots obviously so they're protected all around the Kree empire and stuff so they're there so if any sort of issues come up they can you know like come alive kids help fight and protect and stuff but along with that they have slight speed i guess communication so if an issue they can you know quickly send out signals and messages and everything they have self-repair so if they're ever damaged you know in fights or whatever they can repair themselves they have ability to match the strength of whoever they're fighting and so some of their weapons and stuff though are um kree weapons of uh, blasters and stuff like that that you can kind of um guess they don't really have anything unless it's from their uh, hands here the like little spots there so they remind me a lot of sentinels are pretty much what they are but instead of just hunting strictly for you know mutants and stuff they're just kind of like any sort of like intruders or invaders and stuff into the Cree empire and everything but so very dorky looking head as you can see here it looks like a you know thing that's got like a bowl cut haircut or whatever um so very stupid looking head there and stuff but with the eyes and the mouth and everything looks kind of like a trap jaw mouth and stuff but head can rotate all the way around of course as usual has the um ab crunch and stuff and twist right under its chest plate and everything arms that can tw move around spin all the way around stuff has the elbow joint there the one single elbow joint and then the hands can flex and everything as you see there and of course twist as much as they can aside from these little gauntlet pieces on the sides of their arms and everything then legs can move out got the double knee joint there in the center and then of course the foot can flex around and twist side to side all sorts of cool stuff going on there for the crease entry but again very just basic figure of the silver and uh, purple color here and everything for that so nothing too special going on here for that but that's going to be it for this set of the marvel legends captain marvel wave one with the build a figure crease entry as we see here and everything so kind of cool set overall i mean none of the figures were too good or fantastic or anything i like just the plain captain marvel the most but that's gonna be it for this episode if you enjoyed let me know in the comments down below you can check out one of the latest marvel legend videos over to the side and of course our playlist of action figures over here on the right and of course subscribe to the center button there so thank you all so much for checking out the video i want to thank you all so much and we'll see you next time